I mean what at first looks like a nondescript field. It's called Wurdi Yuang. It's outside of Melbourne. And in this nondescript field is a series of stones in a layout. One lot goes down in a straight line here forming an arc. Another lot goes in a straight line there forming another side of an arc. And in fact, that side maps the summer solstice. That side maps the winter solstice in the middle is the equinox. But not the summer solstice and winter solstice now because they move slightly over the years. It maps the winter solstice and summer solstice about 10 or 11,000 years ago. And carbon dating has this rock formation at about 11,700 years ago. So the current theory is this is actually the oldest human observatory in the world, twice as old as Stonehenge. If proved, this is humankind's first attempt at mapping and understanding the stars and the sun. And it's part of Australian indigenous culture. And like a lot of other things, it's an unknown part of indigenous culture that we don't respect, understand, or know. Welcome to Wurdi Yuang. Admittedly, nowhere near as spectacular as Stonehenge. Nevertheless, this rock formation is definitely not natural. And if proven to be an actual astrological map, think of that. In Australia, a country we thought was full of hunter-gatherer nomads with no culture, at least that was the European story when we learned that history began in 1770 to find human beings' oldest attempt to map the solar system here, 45 minutes drive outside of Melbourne, and very few people know where it is.